to Facebook Live Friday. My name is Heather Petherick and I am the soul and sass behind the popular Facebook group for female business leaders of style, wit, and substance. And ladies, today we are talking all about fear. You know, I've been having a lot of conversations um, this time of year, especially around established female business leaders, um, whether they're entrepreneurs, brick and mortar business owners, or corporate leaders talking about big goals for 2019, right? Many of us do a lot of business planning this time of year and are setting big goals to grow our business, point the way for our team, and expand our impact. And one of the things inevitably that comes up when we set big goals to stretch into new territory is that fear comes up. And often if we do not have tangible ways to wade through, navigate, and unhook from the fear, that fear can keep us paralyzed and sabotage our efforts and hold us back from creating the results, the impact, the income that we are more than capable so of achieving. What I wanna tell or talk to you ladies about today is the two types of fear. There are only two types of fear in this world. I'm gonna let you know what those are today so that you can, in a way, unhook from, deprogram yourself and what's the word? Um, excavate the fear from your life so that you can continue to move forward and create the results that you are totally meant for. So here they are, two types of fear. Fear is either a flag of possibility, okay, write that down, a fear of possibility, or fear is the flag of risk associated with taking some action. So fear is either an indicator of possibility or fear is an indicator of risk, okay? Risk and possibility, those are the two types of fear we will only ever encounter. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about each of those types of fear. Or post your questions and comments as we are going so that I can interact with you here. Two types of fear. Let's start with the fear of possibility. So for example, I was talking to a beautiful woman yesterday. Her plan is to triple her income in 2019. Now I know based on what I know about this beautiful and talented individual that she is more than capable and poised to do just that, triple her income. So I asked her, well, what's likely to happen when you triple your income in 2019? Let's talk about that. So this beautiful individual started talking about, wow, tripling my income, right? That's gonna be over $300,000, right? She's at about 100K right now. So I said, well, what is it gonna feel like when you are earning $300,000? And she starts to talk about, well, wow, like I'm going to be able to hire more help. I'm going to be able to pay off debt. We can buy a new house for my kids and they can go to private school, like all these beautiful things, but they are at their core superficial things, right? They are, right? They're physical things, their money, their school, their possessions. So I asked her to go a little bit further around this fear of possibility. What are you afraid of happening when you indeed triple your income? Now, hold on and this is what I do not want you to step over, is that when we start to think about actually achieving our bold goals for 2019, as positive and as motivating as they can be, you need to know that often what is underneath, you know, the prettiness of being able to do beautiful new things or stretching into new territory is there is a underlying fear of possibility. The fear of how good is it going to get? The fear of what is going to happen even though I've achieved this very positive thing. So for her, in just this example, the fear of possibility for her in tripling her income was, well, actually, if I'm making that amount of money, what are people going to think about me? Are people going to say, oh, so-and-so is, you know, she's too good for us now. And for her as well, one of the fears of possibility was, if I start making that amount of money, people are going to start asking me for a loan and I am not comfortable having those conversations with people. So here's one of the classic fears and often the fear that does not get enough airtime, but can sabotage our efforts of stretching into new territory is the fear of possibility. If you, when you achieve the goals that you are seeking out to do in 2019, what are some of the, what is the fear associated with that? Even though it's a positive thing, there sometimes can be negative consequences of achieving our goals that lie under the surface and 
sabotage our efforts. And we see this a lot in success coaching for female business leaders is that we can get really excited about moving towards a beautiful finish line, a great new impact income level or state of our business or personal life. But as we get closer to it, that fear of possibility and some of the negative consequences of achieving what we say we want force us to slow down, even sabotage our efforts and prevent us from actually achieving what we say we want. Crazy, right? So this is one of the classic one of only two types of fear that you are that you are guaranteed to encounter on the road to success whatever that looks like for you the fear of possibility. So get really clear on even though there's maybe this positive outcome or this finish line that you are striving towards there can often be a negative consequence of what are people going to think of me? Maybe I'll lose my friends. Maybe I'll outgrow my friends or people will ask me for a loan or, 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 or. Only you can answer the question of what is the negative consequence of achieving what you say you want, the fear of possibility. The way that you unhook from this one of only two fears is you actually have to get clear and start to, in a way, prepare for that eventuality. Sure, if you're making 300,000 in 2019, how are you gonna handle when people come out of the woodwork and are asking you for a loan? Having a, just spending five, 10 minutes on framing up how you would respond is enough to alleviate and lessen that fear and take the brakes off your efforts so that you can continue to strive forward and actually achieve what you say you want. So get clear on what is the fear of possibility, how might you handle it so that you are not putting on the brakes as you're moving forward. Okay, you still with me? That's the first of only two fears that you are likely to encounter as you are striving toward your 2019 goals. It is the fear of possibility. Now, you may at this point be more familiar with the second version of fear, which is the fear of risk. What are the classic what if statements that come up for you as you are considering achieving and striving towards your 2019 goals, right? What if I, well, actually I'm gonna ask you to type in what your classic what if statements are, which is the fear of risk. As you strive toward your 2019 goals, what are the risks associated with or that come as part of that moving forward? What are your what if statements as you are striving towards your 2019 goals? Now, the classics that I typically hear, and maybe you have said, thumbs up if these resonate with you. What if I don't meet my goal? What if I fail along the way? What if I'm actually not good enough? What if I realize that I am flawed, inadequate, or dysfunctional and will never reach my goal? What if I realize that success is more challenging than I'm willing? You know, what if it's going to take me, um, what if it's going to cause me to work so hard? What if the success I say I want comes with a bunch of work that I'm not willing to do? What if the success creates more work. Another classic is the what if risk, the fear of risk of being abandoned or appearing disloyal. Consider if you grow and expand your business to triple your income, right? Our original example was a woman who wants to triple her income to go from 100K to 300K. Well, a lot of the fear of risk associated with that goal will be the fear that I will be abandoned by friends. I will outgrow friends and they'll either write me off as being too big and all of that in a bag of chips, or I will outgrow them and no longer have them as my friends. Or I've actually seen this show up, this fear of being disloyal or fear of uh, being abandoned. Again, the fear of risk. You know, if you grew up in a family that was not well off, maybe there was, you know, a level of poverty in, in your family when you were growing up, or even if you were blue collar, but you weren't like the rich kid on the block, a family legacy of under earning or financial struggle that if suddenly you were to triple your income at a way, in a way you would subconsciously feel like you are no longer being loyal to your family's legacy by breaking that pattern. And trust me, this can be a huge, a huge cause for self-sabotage, a huge reason that powerful, talented, and full of potential women 
put on the brakes when they get close to reaching their goals. Is the fear of risk, the fear of being disloyal or being abandoned um, as they achieve their goals? Love to know what you think. Is that like a, is that a mind blowing revelation for you? That is one of the classic fears of risk of being disloyal or being abandoned as you achieve your goals. A final fear of risk is the loss of reputation. Sometimes our fear of risk means that we are afraid that in achieving something, our reputation will change. Maybe our reputation of being easygoing or middle class is going to change. But the fear of loss, loss of reputation, you know, maybe we have a subconscious fear that in achieving our goals, we will lose our reputation. Maybe we think that in order to be successful, so for, an, for coming back to our original example of tripling our income, maybe we associate that level of success and that level of income with having to do things that we do not want to do. Being schmarmy, being salesy, being all about the money. If that is a reputation that we do not want to own or have any part of, even though we say we want to triple our income, but we are burdened by and carrying around these fears of a loss of a reputation or an adoption of a reputation that we do not want to have, we will find ways to put on the brakes, make excuses, procrastinate, defer, and self-sabotage our efforts. Kimberly says, totally resonates in my life, the fear of breaking through that family legacy on money. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for sharing that. I know it resonates with a lot of our members. It certainly resonated with me years ago as I was breaking through new income ceilings. Uh, Laura says, for me, it's totally a fear of saying no to people and things can be hard, things that can be hard to let go of. Absolutely. You know, last Friday, little plug here, last Friday's Facebook Live Friday, we talked about, are you prepared for the things that you want? And today's Facebook Live really and Instagram Live absolutely supports the two. So if you didn't catch last Friday's um, live video, go to my business page and check out the link there. These two go hand in hand. The two types of fear, fear you are guaranteed to encounter on your road to success and being fully prepared for what you say you want in 2019. So in summary, those are the two types of fear you will encounter as you are going for big new goals in 2019. The fear of risk, what are you risking as you strive to achieve that goal? And the fear of possibility, the fear of how good it might be or what I might encounter along the way to things getting good. Shahina says, how to let go of self-sabotage for good? Absolutely. That's a question, Shahina. Um, first off, we need to get to the root of what are our fears. If we do not do the work of slowing down long enough in our effort to achieve our goals, if we don't slow down just long enough to actually get clear on what are these fears, they will inevitably um, hold us back, be the brakes on our dreams and cause us to self-sabotage. So the first step, Shahina, and for everyone here, thanks for asking that question, Shahina, is you've got to get clear on what are the fears lying under the surface? What are the fears of risk? And what are the fears of possibility that you hold? I would actually just write these out, baby. Like it doesn't have to be fancy or sexy or good looking. Write it out on a piece of paper. This can take as little as three minutes to get clearer for yourself what truly are the fears of risk and fears of possibility that are lingering, lurking under the surface and will risk you self-sabotaging. So that is the first step. If you want more information about how to unhook from these fears and forms of self-sabotage, post your questions about that below. That's going to be fodder for my next Facebook Live next Friday here on Instagram and on Facebook. So ladies, I'm going to hang out for two more minutes for your comments, your questions, your reactions to what I have shared here today. What are those classic what if statements that you are making right now, a fear of risk or fear of possibility? And I can help you right here, right now to start to unhook from those. I'm so happy you guys are here, both on Facebook and on Instagram. So fear of risk, fear of possibility, 
what are those what if statements that are holding you back? One of the fears I know, personal example, as you ladies are typing here, one of the fears that I uncovered as I was growing, evolving, and expanding my business was a fear of outshining. Outshining peers, outshining friends, and even outshining relatives. For a long time in my life, I had, you know, I was this card carrying member of the humble society, right? Hands up, hearts, if that resonates with you. I was a card carrying member of the humble society. I was afraid of outshining or shining too brightly and anyone looking at me and saying, oh, who does she think she is? I was afraid of outshining. And so for a long time, I would play small. I would work really hard, but never go beyond you know, my comfort zone, whether it was social media, whether it was new marketing efforts, whether it was picking up the phone and talking to you know, a dream client. I was working really hard but I was never going that next new step to grow and evolve kind of to the, to the next level because I was afraid of outshining or shining too brightly. And before I was, and until I was able to unhook from that and what that meant and put down a whole lot of mental baggage around being too big, I was playing small and my income and my business showed it. So there you go, a little personal example for me. And that was definitely a fear of a fear of risk of what people would say and the fear of possibility of what would it mean in my life if I became a bigger deal than I had been comfortable being. So thanks ladies for joining us. Again, post your comments, reactions, and questions below. I use those um, as fodder for future Facebook Lives and I always respond to your comments and questions in our feed to provide additional support. So there you are ladies on the road to world domination and knocking it out of the park in 2019 with your business, professional, and personal goals. Really get clear on the fear of risk and the fear of possibility that is lurking under the surface or risks holding you back despite the potential that you are capable of. There you are, ladies. Thanks for being here today. Again, post your comments and questions or your emojis below. Love having you here. Take care for now and have a great Friday.